Are you ready for one of the best spawns for level 200? Are you tired of noob spawns and one by one hunting? Like this? This? Or that? Today I will show you how to hit up to 5kk an hour. Wow! Best equipment to use so you don't end up like this. Detailed damage statistics, charms and more. Let's go guys! There is three different methods how to hunt this spawn. The spawn with quarry rates, hunting it relaxed. That's around 1.6kk an hour, but much less waste since you are looting. The spawn with quarry rates, hunting it like you got stuck by a bee. Not looting and always keep moving forward, which is 2.3kk an hour at 100%. The spawn without quarry rates, that's around 1.5kk an hour. You reach the spawn by going from Oron Depot to the west and levitate down this place. You start going north, kill everything and then go back to the southwest. Then simply follow all the way down. Go out of the gate. You can also kill the monsters at the dump. I swap from thunderstorms to GFBs here for extra damage. A little tip to save you in hotkey. Put a GFB rune close to your AOE action bar. If you wanna swap, just drag and drop the GFB on the hotkey. Make sure to time your auto attack with diamond arrows and then follow with a divine caldera and every second turn a thunderstorm. The monsters here deal mostly physical damage followed by earth damage. Make sure to use a prismatic set combined with earth protection. I absolutely recommend you to invest into a sleep shawl. The received damage in 4 minutes with a nice mix of physical protection and a sleep shawl was... 33k physical, 16k earth, 3k life drain and 0.5k ice damage. So totally 42.5k damage. I went with a clean set that had absolutely no reduction besides simply armor to show you how important equipment is. Because remember, we don't want that you end up like this. Or like this. Right? The shocking number after 4 minutes received damage, 41k physical, 22k earth, 3k life leech and 0.5k ice damage. Holy cow! That is 66.5k damage, so 24k more damage than with our prismatic set and sleep shawl. In 1 hour hunting, this would be 360k more received damage. Imagine the mana wasted for healing spells. You should definitely invest once in a nice set and save money over time. Less damage will also make your hunts less risky. Make sure to always move forward. The monsters in this spawn die quickly, but come in big masses. Talking about big masses, did I already mention that this spawn is one of the best spawns for charms? With an active quarry rate you can make 200 charm points in 4 hours. If you don't have much money, you can also loot the monsters and start farming roots. Thanks to the winter update 2020, you can now loot monsters that died on each other. This change is amazing for this spawn and makes it actually not so much waste like in the past. For the imbuments, you should use 2x mana leech, 1 or 2 times life leech and 1 time critical. Depends on the amount of life leech, you could use earth protection on your armor. Okay, cut, we are done. I hope they don't ask me how to make the Quara spawn in the comment section. Hey boss, we are still recording. Oh, um, um, yep. Do you have any questions? How do you like the format of this guide? Would you like to see any changes? Should I add something? If yes, tell me in the comments. Make sure to check out my two Twitch channels, Lee Ragnarsson, streaming Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. TBLE2 for TBI content, 100% trusted dice games and middleman deals for items. There will be a lot of TBI content coming to this YouTube channel. My head is full of ideas so make sure to hit the subscribe button. Oh, and I will randomly pick one comment from the comment section and give away 250 TBI coins on Sunday livestream. Bye!